Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you're good. I'm fine. Uh, welcome back to after a short YouTube break and we are finally having our YouTube lesson from unit eight and today it's lesson number three and it's also lesson number four from your books. Uh, look at me, I'm wearing a white t-shirt and I'm wearing a pink sweater. What are you wearing today? Are you wearing a t-shirt? Are you wearing jeans? Hmm, are you wearing a scarf maybe? I'm not wearing a scarf. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a short revision. Tym właśnie zajmowaliśmy się w lekcji pierwszej i w lekcji drugiej. Dzisiaj będziemy oczywiście to też powtarzać. A poza tym dzisiaj nauczysz się mówić i opisywać, co ktoś inny ma na sobie, więc dzisiaj głównie zajmujemy się opisywaniem osób ze zdjęć. Before we do it, of course, let's begin with the revision. Uh, we are having a revision today and this is a word wall revision as, as always almost. Uh, here you can see uh, 12 numbers and we are going to open uh, each of them one by one and I'm going to ask you a question. Będziemy otwierać każdy z tych pudełek po kolei i będę zadawać pytanie What are you wearing? I twoim zadaniem będzie przedstawić tą rzecz, która jest na rysunku. For example, number one, what's this? Dress. What color is the dress? Green. So it's a green dress. Ja się zapytam ciebie, what are you wearing? Jeżeli masz na sobie a green dress, powiesz, I'm wearing a green dress. Jeżeli nie masz jej na sobie, powiesz, I'm not wearing a green dress. Okay, so I'm not wearing a green dress. Number two. What are you wearing? Are you wearing jeans, right? I'm wearing jeans today. Number three. What are you wearing? Are you wearing a hat? I'm not wearing a sun hat. Four. What are you wearing? Are you wearing a blue skirt? Are you wearing a blue skirt? I'm not wearing a blue skirt. What's this? It's a belt. What color is the belt? Gray. So it's a gray belt. Are you wearing a gray belt? I'm not wearing a red belt. I'm wearing a black belt, a black one. What's this? It's a t-shirt. Are you wearing a white t-shirt? I'm wearing a white t-shirt today. What is it? What are they? They are black trousers. Are you wearing black trousers now? I'm not wearing black trousers. What's this? Scarf. Are you wearing a scarf? I'm not. I'm not wearing a scarf. What is it? It's a rain coat. Yes, it's a rain coat. Are you wearing a rain coat? I'm not wearing a raincoat. It's a purple raincoat. What are they? They are shorts. What are you wearing? Are you wearing shorts? I'm not wearing shorts. Now, 11. What is it? It's a jacket. To jest słowo, w które wprowadzimy jeszcze dzisiaj na lekcji. Jacket. Are you wearing a jacket? I'm not wearing a jacket, I'm wearing a sweater, a pink sweater. And 12, are you wearing wellies? Are you wearing wellies? I'm not wearing wellies now. Hmm? So that was a short revision. Okay, and the pages we are going to cover today are pages 62 and 60. Three. So please open your students' books at pages 62 and 63. Uh, and let me begin. 
We are going to begin with a new word and the new word is jacket. To jest to słowo, które już um, powiedziałam Wam przy okazji kurtki skórzanej. Jacket. Jacket means in Polish kurtka or marynarka. Okay, so this is a jacket. You can open your notebook. Możesz otworzyć zeszyt and write it down. Jacket. Jacket is kurtka and marynarka. Repeat please. Jacket. Mm -hmm. Well done. Jacket. And now let me show you the book. Here it is. We are starting with page 62. And as you can see, uh, at page 62, there are children. How many children can you see? Four. How many girls? Two. There are two girls. And how many boys? Right, two as well. There are two boys. Very good. So your task is to listen and point. Okay, I'm going to play the recording. Włączę teraz nagranie i twoim zadaniem jest posłuchać opisu danych osób i te osoby, które są opisywane w nagraniu, wskaż palcem. So we have four, four, this is four, we have four uh, children and listen and point. Mm -hmm. We'll have to wait a second. Track 3.24. Pupils book, unit 8. Exercise 7. Listen and point. Then read, find and say the number. She's wearing a dress and a hat. He's wearing shorts and a shirt. She's wearing shorts and a scarf. He's wearing a hat and trainers. She's wearing socks and shoes. He's wearing trousers and a jacket. Mm -hmm. Well done. And now I'm going to read sentences again and let's check it together. Teraz razem będziemy sprawdzać. She's wearing a dress and a hat. What number is it? Number two. One. Number one. Right. Uh, he's wearing shorts and a shirt. It's number two. She's wearing shorts and a scarf. It's number three, very good. He's wearing a hat and trainers. What number is this? Hat and trainers. It's number two, well done. Next one. She's wearing socks and shoes. Who's wearing socks and shoes? Number three, he's wearing trousers and a jacket. It's number four. Well done. Ok, e, mam nadzieję, że z poprzednich lekcji pamiętasz, że jeżeli mówisz o tym, co ty masz na sobie, mówisz I'm wearing. Ale jeżeli mówisz już o kimś innym, e, początek tego zdania będzie wyglądał nieco inaczej. Look here. Can you read this sentence? Read it please. Przeczytaj na głos. She's wearing a shirt and shorts. Read this one, please, out loud, na głos. He's wearing a t-shirt and a jacket. Ok, więc zwróć uwagę, jeżeli opisujemy jakąś dziewczynkę lub chłopca, jakąś jedną osobę, to będziemy używać zwrotu she's wearing albo he's wearing. She odnosi się do dziewczynki czy do chłopca. Do dziewczyny, right, so she is ona. And he, do chłopca, and he means in Polish on. On ma na sobie, ona ma na sobie. Oczywiście moglibyśmy zamiast osoby she lub he wybrać jakąś konkretną, jakieś konkretne imię. For example, Marta's wearing a t-shirt and a sweater today. Okay? 
and Krubas wearing a t-shirt and jacket. Powiem wam jeszcze uh, and I'll write it on the whiteboard. She she's wearing to jest dokładnie she is wearing. Więc zamiast powiedzieć Martas wearing możesz powiedzieć też Marta is wearing. To jest dokładnie to samo zdanie, tylko to jest forma skrócona. Z trzech wyrazów, one, two, three, Marta is wearing, zrobione są już dwa. Marta's wearing. Znaczenie zdania jest dokładnie takie samo. To samo tyczy się oczywiście he's wearing. Um, and let's go back to the book. So here it is, we have four children, okay, and now uh, I'm saying a sentence and you tell me the number. She's wearing shorts and socks. Number three, he's wearing a jacket and a t-shirt. Number four, she's wearing a scarf and shoes. Number three, He's wearing a sun hat. Number two, she's wearing a dress. Number one, now you. I'm saying the number. Number four. Jak opiszesz tego chłopca? He's wearing a jacket. He's wearing a t-shirt. He's wearing... To nie są jeansy, to są spodnie. Trousers and he's wearing trainers, green trainers. Right now, number two. Hmm? Let's do it together. He's wearing a hat or a sun hat. He's wearing a white shirt. He's wearing a sweater he's wearing shorts and he's wearing trainers right very good mm -hmm. and now let me open the word wall exercise that i have prepared for you it's not the one this exercise i guess it's this one Right. Okay. So here we have five people and their clothes. Mamy ubrania czy ubiór pięciu osób. Here we have the descriptions. Mamy tutaj opis. Twoim zadaniem jest przeczytać te zdania i dopasować je do zdjęć. Uh, so let's read the first one. Read it out loud. Przeczytaj na głos. Let's read it together now. She's wearing a yellow shirt, denim shorts and sandals. Nie widać tego tak dokładnie. Denim shorts, denim means jeansowe, spodenki. So which person is it? Is it one, two, three, four or five? It's this one, right? Możecie też mówić po kolorach, każdy ma inną ramkę. Blue, orange, this one, green and purple. Right, let's read this one. Read it out loud. He's wearing a white t-shirt, blue jeans and brown boots. He's wearing a brown Coat. Who is it? It's this man. Mm -hmm. Next one. Read it, please. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a white t-shirt, 
blue jeans and white trainers. She's wearing sunglasses. Gla, o tu pavino bicha. Sunglasses. It's this woman or this girl. Read this one, please. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a black dress, a red hat, and red shoes. She's got a black. She's got a black bag. Mm -hmm. It's this woman, right? And she's got a dark red and dark, uh, dark red hat and dark red shoes. And the last person is, of course, this man. And read what he's wearing. He's wearing a blue shirt, grey sweater, and orange trousers. Very good. And now I have a task for you. Another one. Let's open it. Okay, so here I have a task for you and look at the picture and tell me what is he wearing? What is he wearing? Hmm? Będę może pokazywać, wtedy będzie wiadomo w jakiej kolejności. Całym zdaniem. He's wearing color a white t-shirt. Szara koszula. A grey shirt. Jeans and brązowe buty. Brown shoes. Right. What has he got in here? He's got sunglasses. Good. Now we have another man. What is he wearing? Opi opisz wszystko. He's wearing a black sun hat. He's wearing a black t-shirt. He's wearing black jeans. And he's wearing black shoes or boots. Nie wiem dokładnie, jak są długie. What is she wearing? She's wearing a jacket. She's wearing a black dress. And she's wearing black boots. Wysokie, długa cholewka, więc to już są boots. What's she wearing? She's wearing a grey hat. She's wearing a pink sweater. Myślę, że to jest pink. And she's wearing jeans. She's got a bag right here, a black bag. And what is he wearing? He's wearing a shirt, he's wearing trousers, and he's wearing trainers. E, na określenie kaszkietówki pewnie do tej pory uczyliście się jako hat, czyli ogólnie jako jakieś nakrycie głowy. Sama kaszkietówka in English is cap. So he's wearing a cap. Hmm? Okay, uh, let us start the next page now. Teraz przewróćcie stronę. Turn the page to page 63. And we are going to start exercise, access, exercises at this page. Here you can see a picture. This is a picture from Toy Story, uh, from the film. And who are they? She is Bo Peep and he's Woody. Look at them. What are they wearing? What is she wearing? She's wearing a pink hat and she's wearing a pink dress. What is he wearing? Is he wearing a dress? Mm -mm. Is he wearing trousers? Mm -mm. Is he wearing jeans? Is he wearing a jacket? Nope. Is he wearing a t-shirt? Nope. What is he wearing here? 
he's wearing a shirt. Very good. Has he got shoes or boots? Is he wearing shoes or boots? They are boots. Very good. So our task here is listen and point. Znowu, listen and point. Posłuchaj i wskaż. Track 3.25. Pupils book, unit 8. Exercise 9. Listen and point. Then read. Say one, Bo Peep, or two, Woody, and describe. Look at Woody and Bo Peep. Woody is a cowboy. He's wearing brown boots and blue jeans. He's wearing a brown belt and a yellow and red shirt. Bo Peep is a doll. She's wearing a pink dress. She's wearing black shoes and she's wearing a pink hat. Well done. So uh, let's continue with this exercise and go a little bit below it, below the picture. Uh, here you can see letters from A to H. Przeczytajmy je sobie wszyscy. Same litery. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Letter H. Okay? And I would like you to look at what's here and say the whole sentence, the full sentence. Chcę, żebyśmy powiedzieli, albo żebyście wypowiedzieli pełne zdanie na temat rysunku. Kto ma na sobie a pink dress? Bo Peep, right? So, she's wearing a pink dress. B. He's wearing brown boots. C. He's wearing a brown belt. D. She's wearing a pink hat. E. He's wearing a yellow and sh red shirt. F. She's wearing black shoes. G. He's wearing a red scarf and H. He's wearing blue jeans. Very good. Mam nadzieję, że po tak y, wielokrotnym powtarzaniu już będziecie dokładnie pamiętać, że jak opowiadacie o tym, co wy macie na sobie, mówicie I'm wearing, right. Jeżeli opowiadacie o tym, co wasza koleżanka ma na sobie, powiecie She's wearing, a jeżeli opowiadacie, opisujecie ubiór kolegi He's wearing, very good. The last thing for today is a tongue twister. A tongue twister, as always, this is your homework for volunteers. Jest to praca domowa dla chętnych. Jeśli tylko macie ochotę, możecie go nagrać i wysłać mi w, w jakiejkolwiek tylko chcecie formie, czy na mojego e-maila, czy na Librusa, aby tylko do mnie dotarł w odpowiednim czasie. First, let's listen to the tongue twister. Then we will read it. Track 3.26. Pupils book, unit 8. Exercise 10. Tongue twister. Listen and repeat. Yellow jeans, yellow jacket, yellow jacket, yellow jeans. I'm wearing a yellow jacket and I'm wearing yellow jeans. Exercise 10. Let's do it again. Let's listen to it again and now try singing. Uh, with the recording. Próbuj teraz uh, mówić czy śpiewać razem z nagraniem. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. Listen and repeat. Yellow jeans. Yellow jacket. Yellow jacket. Yellow jeans. I'm wearing a yellow jacket and I'm wearing yellow jeans. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's sing it together again. This is a rhythm. Język angielski jest językiem bardzo rytmicznym. Wszystko, co mówicie, może zmieścić się w, pew w pewnym rytmie. And yellow jeans, yellow jacket, yellow jacket, yellow jeans. 
I'm wearing a yellow jacket and I'm wearing yellow jeans. Ok? Jeśli tylko macie ochotę na dobrą ocenę, zachęcam. Dodatkowo jeszcze jako Waszą pracę domową zadaję Wam dwie strony do zrobienia w zeszycie ćwiczeń. Oczywiście zapiszę Wam jeszcze na Librusie, a dokładnie chodzi mi o page 60 and page 61. Wszystkie polecenia myślę, że są jasne i bez problemu sobie poradzicie. Trzeba coś pisać, coś wybrać, coś pokolorować, czyli nic trudnego. This is end of today's lessons. Uh, thank you very much for the attention and see you soon. Goodbye.